Pope Francis has approved the miracle attributed to the intercession of Alvaro del Portillo, one of St. Jose Maria Escrivá's closest collaborators as the head of Opus Dei. This means that Portillo will be recognized as a blessed of the church in the coming months. The story of this miracle is striking. It all started in Chile, where young Jose Ignacio Ureta Wilson, a young boy from Santiago, was declared clinically dead. The events took place back in 2003. And just two days after Jose was born, he underwent surgery for a serious malformation in both his abdomen and his heart. And suddenly, his health got even worse. We were at my in-laws' house. At about 2 p.m., they called us from the clinic and told us to get there immediately because Jose wasn't well. The boy's heart had stopped beating, and he went into cardiac arrest. The doctors tried to resuscitate him, but no matter how hard they tried, the boy was declared dead shortly after. We kept on resuscitating him. We kept on and on, and after 30 minutes, we simply saw nothing was happening. So we started reducing our efforts. But the child's mother never lost hope. In her desperation, she turned to Álvaro del Portillo in prayer. I saw her praying in an incredible way. She was praying with extreme fervor and faith. And that's when she says something really incredible happened. His pulse rhythm began to grow faster and steadier until the boy's heart regained its normal function. And that's something that doctors still can't explain. Without any explanation, Jose Ignacio's heart regained its rhythm progressively and with a quick pace. And now he is here with us. And even though Jose suffered several complications after his surgery, today he is alive and well. He loves soccer, tennis, and is a big fan of dancing. And his parents say they have no doubt it all happened through the intercession of Álvaro del Portillo.